you will need to change the needle if you are going to sew certain materials or if the needle breaks. Using a small flat-headed screwdriver, loosen the needle lock screw. Once it is slightly loose, you can use your fingers to complete unscrewing it and remove both the locking mechanism and the needle itself. Note the small groove or hole on the needle bar where the locking screw needs to seat in order to properly fasten the needle. This sewing machine uses HAX1 or Singer sewing needles. They have a flat shank and a rounded shank at the top. Do not install the needle with the flat shank out. The flat shank needs to be pointing in or against the needle bar. With the needle as high up as it can go in its groove in the needle bar, you can now tighten it in place using the needle tightening mechanism. First, finger tighten the locking screw to make sure that it is correctly seated in that small locking groove. Then, you can complete tightening it using the small flat-headed screwdriver. Tightening should be firm, but be careful not to strip the locking screw.